Hi guys, so today I'll be reviewing this laptop that I consider one of the most underrated laptop, okay, HP laptop in the market currently because it's a laptop that uh, the price is way much low. Uh, the generation is a bit old, that one I can't uh, deny, but it's a fact that uh, despite the price being low, it can handle so much stuff, it has so many uh, positives than negatives. So first, just before we do the proper review that we usually do on this machine, the scripted reviews, uh, as I clean the machine, just ensure that you, if you're new to this account, don't forget to subscribe for more review contents, especially on laptops like these ones. And uh, if you're just starting to watch, don't forget to leave a like because I want to show you that the review is going to be worth it. Yeah. So again, I want to thank one of our followers here, one of our subscribers here for donating his own personal laptop to us to review it so that at least we can see what's good with it and what can we do with it yeah and as usual we have to clean it because it was some of that yeah yes so it's a pretty big machine as you can see right here and i'm done cleaning it it's a big machine it's a big laptop so this is the hp probook 4 50 g4 yes you can see right here hp probook 450 g4 so this is how it looks like it's a 15.6 inch laptop with a silver casing but the casing is plastic yeah that is something common with hp laptops we have a plastic casing not uh, silver or aluminium 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 alloy as in the probook models so the only place that we have metallic or aluminium is there just right here uh where the keyboard is this is the only metallic part that we have on this laptop others here it's plastic this top cover is plastic and uh weakness with the top cover being plastic you can see it easily gets scratched you can see we have scratches here uh, after using it for some time if you're not keen or careful with it you'll have these worn out parts that the silver coating has peeled off yeah but uh there is something easy to manage you can put maybe a sticker on it a gray sticker so that it looks like a new one uh it's a heavy machine it's very heavy it's around 2.2.3 kilograms yeah so heavy so but again it, it has to be heavy because it's a it's a it's a how do you say it this laptop used to be a, a workhorse back in them days yeah when uh it was just released into the market so first as usual let's have a look at the ports and then we get to look at the interior the screen resolution and so many stuff that makes this laptop underrated so as usual on this left hand side we have this the kingston lock we have the rj45 port here this is for ethernet cable connection we have two usb 3.0 ports here you have the microphone and audio jack combo here this is the port then you have a dvd drive here so in case you have a, a dvd or disc that you want maybe to back up copy some files then you can get it on this hp probook for 50g4 on the right hand side sorry on the left hand side now that was the right hand side we have uh this is the charging port here yeah, it's small pin for HP. We have the ventilation right here, just on the appropriate side that should be. Yeah, on the left hand side, we have the ventilation on the left hand side because most of the time, if you're using your laptop, maybe you're using something like a mouse, you usually use it on the right hand side, so it will be here on the ventilation on this side. So you won't get uh, your hands won't get the exposure of the heat from there ventilation here that's why the ventilation has been designed to be on the left hand side then you have vga port here you have hdmi port you have another usb 3.0 port you have a type c port you have smart card reader or sd card reader here yeah so so far in terms of port you have all the ports that you need you have usb ports exactly three of them two this side one this side those are enough you have vga port and uh if you maybe you're using an external monitor that doesn't have VGA, then again you have HDMI, so it's well perfect. Don't mind about it being rusty. Yeah, this is a used laptop, 
but uh, I think it will fulfill its purpose because somebody might want to get a new one. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the keyboard side. So we have a keyboard. This is how the keyboard is. Remember this keyboard is, this laptop has been used for like, uh, the owner said that he's been using for the last three years. So you see how the keyboard is. After three years, the keyboard, the, the, the letters are still intact. Yeah, you can see this is K, I. They have not rubbed off. Yeah, so it's a pretty good keyboard, despite being in use for a long time. You can only see it's shiny, but uh, again, the, lab, the labels are just, yeah, in position. You may think it's a new keyboard. Yeah, then. The feel on the keyboard is just quite okay. You can see the travel distance is just quite good. Yeah, you have the numerical part here. This is good for accountants or those people who are just used to using these numerical keys on the keyboard. Then we have this the notch button. So let's assume you're using this laptop in a place, maybe in a, in, a, in an office, and then you want to. Instantly mute the laptop, you'll have the mute button right here. You have the hotspot button, again, right there. Power button, it's here. So you can see this is how they... And then for the screen, it's 15.6 inch. You have the camera right here with two... You have uh, two microphones, yeah, you can see you have microphones here. Then the bezel, this is how the bezel is. It's not that good, but even though the bezel is so much, is thick, yeah, but still the screen is big, so it won't be disadvantageous. If you have somebody who wants to use this laptop to do those very things that I'm going to explain to you in the next part of this video when the laptop is open. So I forgot to tell you, it's a Quai 5. You have the fingerprint scanner here, right here. Quai 5, 7th generation, ProBook for 50G4. So this laptop typically comes with uh, the one that I have here. It has... Uh, it's a Koi 57 Zen, comes with the 8GB of RAM, and again 256GB of SSD or 512 of the other half is 512GB SSD, and then you have one terabyte hard disk. I'll show you the component at the end of this video because you'll have to open this back cover so that you see the expansion slots and what's underneath this area we have right here. I was forgetting to tell about the ventilation. You can see how the ventilation is quite okay because you have inlet of air here and outlet here. Then you have these rubbers for grip. Despite them offering grip on the table, yeah, maybe we've tried to slide it away. They still, they're raised at a certain height, you can see here, so that when it's on the table, we have enough room for airflow underneath the laptop. Yeah. Once again, for the hinges of this machine, the hinges are quite strong. Yeah, it's not easy to break them off. The only disadvantage is that uh, this laptop doesn't flex up to 80 degrees. So if you're using it on a table like this, on a flat surface, then maybe somebody happens to clip it over, then it will possibly break the hinges. So that's the only disadvantage with the screen or the hinge of this laptop. So let's turn it on and then we see how fast it takes to turn on. So as usual, we have our timer there. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, so I think it's on from there, yeah, yeah, that's around 21 seconds for it to bring the sign in icon, so we can sign in, so it took 20 seconds, but uh, I don't know if 20 seconds is too much uh, for a laptop that has SSD. Maybe let me know in the comment section if 20 seconds is way too much or 20 seconds is just okay with you. It all depends on the type of storage that you have with your laptop, the type of SSDs. You know, for SSDs, there are different models. There are some that are slow, there are some that are fast. Yeah. 
So we'll get to see the type of SSD that we have installed on this laptop. So right there it's on and uh, as you can see how the screen is. It's not so bright because it's of around 250 nits and uh, Okay, actually right now we can't adjust the brightness because there's some drivers that are missing. So can't adjust the brightness, but it's around 200 nits and that's how bright it is. And you can see it has a weakness of reflection of light. You can see the light reflection is here. So it's not anti-glare. But uh, the resolution of the screen, if you want to get to see the resolution of the screen, just on the screen, right click on it, go to display. And then on the display setting. Yeah, something I was forgetting to tell you is that uh, you see with the ProBook that I have here, the keyboard is non-backlit because if you look closely on the keyboard you won't see any backlit icon on the keyboard but there are some versions that have backlit keyboard so if maybe you want to purchase one then you can have one with backlit or one without backlit it all depends on you uh, it's unfortunate that the laptop is taking so long maybe to display what you wanted to see the properties of the screen so we'll just go straight away to some of the internal features that you are much interested in. So as usual, if you want to see all the properties of your laptop, then just come to control shift, then escape. You'll get to the tax manager right there. At the tax manager, just come close, navigate to the performance tab there. Then at the performance tab, this is what you have now. I hope it's clear. So at the performance tab, this is what you have. Uh, maybe which angle is perfect trying to find the perfect angle for the camera yeah first for the cpu first you can see on this other side yeah so we have a cpu of quite five it's seven then you can see the first is the generation 2500 2200 du cpu with a base speed of 2.5 gigahertz so the base speed actually the base speed here you can see here we have 2.1 gigahertz the number of cores is two cores and logical processor is four logical processors yeah so this is a dual core processor with four logical processors dual core uh, processor with four logical processors yeah then for the memory that we have right here you can see we have right there 8 gb of ram yeah so number of slots used you have one out of two slots in use so it means that on the motherboard of this laptop we have two ram slots one of them is in use and the speed of the ram that is available is 21 33 megahertz so it's a sodium meaning that it's a ram that can be removed yeah so one slot is empty meaning you can expand the ram of this laptop from uh 8 to a maximum of 32 gb that is going to have 16 16 gb on each ram slot then disk here we have you can see disk here type hdd yeah it's a toshiba Right there, it's Toshiba disk. We have the capacity being 932 nine GB. Yeah, type is of hard disk HDD. So you have a hard disk here of one terabyte. Then next, we have disk type SSD. You can see here it is a HS SSD wave. This is the model of the SSD. You can see it's 512G. That means 512GB. You can see the capacity right here. Then, uh, don't I know. Maybe some of you might be wondering why am I saying 512 and then here we have 477 GB. For those of you who understand maybe how the capacity of the storage factors work, then you'll understand why it's written here 477 GB. Then the type is SSD. Wi-Fi, we have an Intel dual band wireless AC7 to 266. Yeah, adapter, that's Wi-Fi 5 adapter with Bluetooth. Uh, 5.0 then gpu now this is the most interesting part of this machine this is the most interesting part this is the part that we have to be so keen or this is the part that now adds value to this laptop despite it being cheap yeah i haven't tell you the price but i'll show you the price maybe later so that you understand why am i saying that so the gpu here you can see this is the gpu uh it has is this intel integrated hd a graphic 620 with uh 4 gb of uh ram you can see there so this 
integrated graphics not dedicated but now right here underneath it we have the gpu one now this is dedicated graphic yeah you can see it supports the rx 12 you can see right there and uh it's off 2 gb you can see right here you can also see right there it's off 2 gb nvidia geforce 930 mx dedicated graphic so this is what makes this laptop so uh important because with having a dedicated graphic then on a laptop means you can do so many stuff with it like handling rendering video editing uh gaming you can do slight gaming actually you can't play the modern games because right now we are, we are in 2024 so the games that have been designed from 2020 2024 2021 you'll have challenges playing those games at high settings on this machine but assume you're from 2019 maybe backwards most of those game titles you could play it on this laptop like for example let's uh, say fifa 21 fifa 20 uh gta 5 you can play those games on this machine at 60 fps without any challenges because of the graphic card the dedicated graphic that we have on this machine and also the good cpu speed that we have right here a base speed of 2.71 2.71 gigahertz base speed with the turbo boost of up to 3.7 gigahertz so that's quite okay for this machine and uh we want to see something here on the display settings let's see if it's, uh, it's going to turn on maybe but if it doesn't turn on i just want to put it clear that the screen resolution that we have here it's of 1080 uh, hd screen with the 60 hertz refresh rates so for gaming for video editing for uh, uh multimedia consumption that's quite okay maybe i can just look for a single video here on maybe youtube so that you get to see how yes get to see how well it plays a video so we have speakers here a pod firing speakers which is quite good i know some of you are saying that maybe if you have a pod firing speakers then it means they easily accumulate dust the speakers but uh it has been designed in a manner that we have proper ventilation here with some sieves so that the speaker does not get uh clogged with dust just put a 4k video here 4k yes we trade with Exynos because we can trade as fast as we can click so can go to here. we can make bold decisions when everything the speaker is going to trade with faster execution Exynos born to trade that's one thing I like about Speakers of Pro HP Pro Book. They have so nice speakers. Even though the latest Elite books have good speakers by Bang and Olsen, but this Pro Book had very good speakers. Yeah, you can have a look. It's not that bad. Forget about this reflection that you have here. Sound quality, the video quality is not that bad. Yeah. The viewing angles maybe not quite good. Yeah. yeah, from the side it's not that clear. You have to face it directly because it's not an IPS panel. Yes, so now let me take you to the other part that you are waiting to get to see. So let's just shut it down. Then you get to see what's underneath this machine and 
how upgradable is it so you have to have a screwdriver like this then luckily enough for this hp pro book to access the internals for maybe upgrading and doing some uh maintenance on it you don't have to remove this back cover the all of it you only have to remove this screw that we have here with the screwdriver so there we go so as, as you open it you have a space here that's lifting itself up then you can use your fingers to just remove the cover like that there you go so this is the back cover you can see the fan is here uh, it's quite dusty maybe you'll have to clean it i'll clean it later yeah. it's quite dusty because so as you can see here we have two memory slots so this is the first ram then you have another empty slot here for memory this is the wi-fi card right here we have uh, storage here nvme remember it was wave m2 right here sata ssd so this is it and then we have the normal sata 2.5 hard disk right here i hope you can see it clearly so this is the hard disk sata 2.5 maybe you can just yeah you can see so this is what we call a hybrid laptop in some form of storage here yeah? because we have the normal hard disk here sata 2.5 slot then you have m2 slot right here memory slot here yeah we have something here this is what you call the bios you know this does not concern you but for those who know the bio is usually placed here so that in case maybe when your laptop happens to freeze it doesn't boot up maybe you have bios issues it's easier to access it right here so that it can be reprogrammed that's why the bio is usually exposed or put in a place that can be easily accessed without opening the internals of the laptop so that's what underneath the bottom you can see something golden here this is the heat sink from the processor that you have around here to the fan yeah and uh, guys if you find this review uh worth it up to this point don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate the support that you've been giving me up to this point it's you people that actually motivate me to actually find you or find you laptops that find you laptops and even do reviews of them so that maybe at least one day if you get to purchase one I will make a right decision so you know i've said so many things about this laptop and uh, maybe there are some things that i've missed out that maybe you'll like to know on what you can do with it once again i said with this laptop uh i didn't mention the price Right here in Kenya, the price is around 25,000 Kenyan shillings, yeah? And if you convert that to your currency, you'll find that this laptop is so affordable, yet can handle so many stuff. Remember, the RAM is upgradable. The processor is not that bad. It's of 7th generation. It's okay. It's only that it has four uh, logical processors. It's a dual-core processor, but uh, it's not that bad. It has dedicated graphic card, which you don't find in most of these laptops. And remember, having a dedicated graphic card is so important because maybe somebody might have a 10th gen uh, uh, laptop, maybe a weaker laptop, 10th gen processor, but doesn't have a dedicated graphic card, which this one has. So with this, you'll have advantage or your laptops will almost be at the same uh, operating performance because his or hers is 10th gen, yours is uh, 7th gen, without with dedicated but he doesn't have dedicated so you are somehow closer yeah performance wise rendering is equally good on this machine because you have a dedicated graphic card uh video editing so good uh doing things like uh programming you have a very big screen there so you can display your codes properly you have ports here to extend your display if you're doing programming yeah if you're doing things like uh, Excel spreadsheets, you have a very big screen there once again. You can see everything. You have numerical keys right here. It's easy to do uh, the mathematical stuff with the keyboard. Speakers, quite good. So much has been said. If you found this review so great, don't forget to leave a like. And don't forget to comment on what you think about this laptop. See you on the next one. And leave a comment also on the next laptop that you'll want me to review. And I want to appreciate the honor of this machine once again for giving it to us to have a review and have a closer look at it. See you next time on another video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, guys. Thank you so much.